In this video, we'll be exploring the various treatment options available to help you tackle those stubborn raised acne scars, leaving you with smoother and more radiant skin. But before we dive into the treatments, let's quickly address what raised acne scars actually are. These scars are caused by an excessive collagen during the healing process of an acne lesion. This collagen creates a raised or bumpy texture on the skin, often leaving individuals feeling self-conscious about their appearance. Now, let's move on to the exciting part, the treatments. There are several effective options available, each tailored to your specific needs and skin type. We'll be covering the most popular methods today so stick around to find the perfect solution for you. The first part of this video explain the treatment of deep depressed acne scars. We will add a link to it in the description below. For the treatment of raised acne scars, several options are available. 1. Injections. Dermatologists may suggest injecting medication directly into raised scars to soften and flatten them. Repeat visits are often necessary, with injections administered once every few weeks. Corticosteroids are commonly used, and fluoracil, a chemotherapy medication, can also be effective. Interferon, a treatment for cancer, may yield positive results as well. Injections are best for painful, raised scars. If the scar does not respond to injections after the fourth treatment, acne scar surgery may be recommended. 2. Acne scar surgery. The second treatment option for raised acne scars is acne scar surgery. Dermatologists perform acne scar surgery to reduce raised acne scars. This surgery can be performed in the dermatologist's office. To obtain the best results, acne scar surgery is often followed by another treatment. Thus we can have acne scar surgery followed by injections. After surgery, dermatologists often treat raised scars with injections of corticosteroids or fluoracil. Combining acne scar surgery with these shots remains one of the most effective treatments for raised scars. Most patients receive injections once a month for a few months or acne scar surgery, followed by radiation. Studies show that radiation can prevent raised scars from returning after acne scar surgery. Due to the potential for radiation treatments to cause problems years or decades later, some doctors do not recommend radiation treatment. Acne scar surgery best for raised scars that need stronger treatment than injections alone can provide. 3. Laser therapy. The third treatment option for raised acne scars is laser resurfacing has long been employed for various skin concerns, including acne scars. Fractionated lasers, a recent advancement, penetrate deep into the dermis, triggering the body's healing response and promoting the growth of new, healthy skin cells. By remodeling collagen, fractional laser resurfacing helps fill in indented scars and improve skin texture. The intensity of the laser can be adjusted according to individual needs and scar severity, making the treatment highly customizable. Fractionated lasers target specific areas while leaving surrounding tissue intact, resulting in faster healing and minimal downtime. Laser therapy can be effective for all types of acne scars. The fouth option of treatment of raised scars is cryosurgery. This treatment involves freezing the scar tissue, causing it to gradually die and fall off. Dermatologists often recommend a series of cryotherapy sessions combined with corticosteroid injections for enhanced results. However, cryosurgery can potentially cause permanent light spots on the treated skin. It is most effective in reducing raised scars for individuals with lighter skin tones and not recommended for those with skin of color. Additionally, there are scar creams, gels, and silicone dressings that can be used at home to treat raised scars. These products are available without a prescription and help reduce itchiness, discomfort, and the size of raised scars. Silicone dressings and bandages, in particular, provide hydration to the skin, potentially alleviating itchiness and pain while increasing flexibility. Continuous usage is essential for effectiveness, though some individuals may develop temporary skin irritation. While scar creams, gels, and silicone dressings can reduce scar size and discomfort, they are unlikely to eliminate raised scars entirely. Most treatments can reduce the size and visibility of acne scars, with many scars fading over time, becoming barely noticeable. While dermatologists offer safe and effective treatments for acne scars, prevention remains most preferable approach. To learn more about preventing acne scars, you can refer to our next video, which will be linked in the video description. Please subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified when we release the next video. Note that, knowledge is advancing by the day and we will like to always post an update on new advances on how to stay healthy. You can contact us via the link in the description below for any medical inquiry. You are watching Zoom Hospital channel and listening to work of Dr. Criordi.